What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Sama Tech once again, and in light of recent events involving nice hash and a whole bunch of funds being stolen, I figured it's about time to start talking about securing your local wallet. So stick around. Welcome back. So while most coins or popular coins, you can use something like a hardware wallet from Ledger Nano S, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. If you're anything like me, you mine a lot of altcoins that don't have support for the Ledger. So we're gonna be starting a series here to talk about what you can do to protect your investments in these types of coins and the best ways to handle it. The first option we're gonna talk about is just getting a basic PC, a basic desktop PC or an old laptop and loading something known as cubes on it. Cubes essentially is an operating system that is relatively secure and what it allows you to do is compartmentalize different applications to where they aren't going to be able to affect each other. You can even do this with Chrome instances and have two Chrome instances that do not communicate with each other at all. So you could have one for your porn browsing and another for everything you do at work. This is good for wallets because what you can do is essentially compartmentalize each wallet that way if one gets compromised with a virus, etc., then it won't be affected by the other wallet. So you'll have maybe one go down, but you won't have all of your local wallets go down. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Now the way I handle it is a little bit different. I use virtual machines. And I think this is the way we're gonna start with because virtual machines are very easy and we can use Windows and so you guys can understand it. The virtual machines will essentially do what I said cubes will do by compartmentalizing each wallet. So essentially you'll download a Windows 10 ISO for example and then spin up a whole bunch of VMs, one per wallet, and then just turn them off when you're not using them. This is gonna help prevent any issues you may have if you download a bad wallet with a virus in it, etc. On that note, I did wanna bring up that you should never install your wallets on your mining rigs at all, period. Just do not do it. Because if you do install your wallets on your mining rig, you have just too many points of failure, especially with all of the different malwares that are getting placed into mining files that you download from GitHub. So be very careful with that. And if you do currently have them on there, I recommend getting them off as soon as possible. Now, just spinning up a wallet in a VM is not going to prevent all of the other options for ha potential hackers, et cetera, or even potential viruses. So there are a couple other aspects that you need to take into account. For example, an application that you can grab to prevent any kind of viruses starting on startup is called Deep Freeze. How Deep Freeze works is it takes pretty much like a snapshot like you would with a VM, and then every time you reboot, it restores to the previous configuration. This way, if somebody did get into your system and implemented some sort of startup script that was gonna happen on the next reboot, it won't be able to start. You can also use an old sysadmin trick and edit some registry keys, which I will also cover, which is the cheap way, but not quite as secure as something like Deep Freeze. And the next point we should talk about is going to be the Windows 10 telemetry. While I'm gonna be using Windows 10 for this guide and for this how-to, I would prefer that you would just spin up Ubuntu VMs for your wallets, but that's something that I feel like we would have to go through in a lot more detail. So we're gonna start with this factor. But Windows 10 is gonna have a lot of telemetry. What you can do to get rid of this is use an application called SpyBot AntiBeacon. Now the only problem with SpyBot AntiBeacon that I have is it doesn't allow you to select and choose or pick which ones you wanna turn on or off. So that's just a quick note about that application in particular. And I also have no ties to any of these applications or operating systems that I'm mentioning, but I'll leave them in the description below. The anti-beacon is free. However, for deep freeze, you're gonna have to pay $45, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. So check it out. Finally, since we're gonna be talking about using Windows 10, I just wanted to clarify with you guys that when you go ahead and spin up your VM with a Windows 10, operating system, there are a lot of vulnerabilities there that you wanna take into account. One of the ways you can decrease risk here when you're spinning up a Windows 10 VM is go ahead and demote your admin account so that it doesn't have any access to install applications when you're not using it. And then you can just promote yourself to install the wallet or leave yourself promoted to install the wallet and then demote yourself and that is one step that I think we'll also cover when we go into more detail. Following up with this video, be sure you hit subscribe because we're gonna go over each one of these in parts. We're gonna start with just enabling Hyper-V, for example, in Windows 10, because it's gonna be the easiest way. 
and then we'll go through installing the operating systems, configuring it, etc. in later videos. So I hope this is going to be helpful. I did want to mention one more thing. The security of the VMs is only going to be as secure as your host. So if your host ends up getting compromised, you need to keep into account the, the possibility of your wallets being compromised as well. And when you have all these wallets installed, make sure that you also back up the wallet and put that backed up wallet file on an encrypted USB drive. Do not just use a regular USB drive. I see people recommending it all over the internet. Just grab a 16 gigabyte USB drive. Do not, at least get an encrypted one. I'll leave a link to one in the description below. That's something you can even just do right now before we even move forward with the rest of the how-tos. If you currently have some local wallets on your desktop PC, go out, get an encrypted USB and throw your backed up wallet on there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what details you're interested in learning about. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.